Well, if you insist that we play Disco Dracula, let's do it. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and today it looks like we're going straight back to Hotel Transylvania over here. We are going to check out Disco Dracula. So our buddy Scott, actually, on Twitter told me that he won 5 billion chips playing Disco Dracula over here. And you know what? I am up for a big one. Let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. All right, Spinners and Sharks, let's go ahead and see what it's looking like over here. Uh, how high does this go? Oh, I can get ultra jackpots. Nice. All right. The grand jackpot's still looking pretty good, though. All right, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, let's do, go one step beyond. Let's go ahead and risk the chance of hitting an ultra. So, I think that's about a thousandth of our bankroll there, so I think that's something we can do. 1,560,000 chips. We'll do that a hundred times, so let's go ahead and put a hundred spins on the clock, per usual. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Alright, cool. Well, I do like the fact that the reels light up. That is always a nice feature there. And I do like that every single reel hits. That's also a new feature I've never seen before. And, oh, what's this wild? Oh, I guess uh, it sticks around until you hit something. All right. And every logo is a bat logo. Okay, all right, that's pretty dope. And now I gotta go t touch the thing. Oh, it's a disco ball. It's a disco ball jackpot. What's going on? Let's spin. Spin in the disco ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like it's a major jackpot. 37 million. No, 39 million. One shot. Okay. That was pretty cool. All right. Cool. So right now, guys, I am partially, <coughs> excuse me, partly through planning my uh, December trip with the boss lady there. So we're going to go ahead and see about going down to Aria sometime in December. I know I've been talking about this a lot, but I'm just real excited. Haven't been to Vegas since uh, April or May. And oh, we got ourselves another wild coffin there. Hopefully Drax shows up and helps us out here. Or Batman, one of the two, because that's, uh, they actually kind of dress pretty similar. Oh, there you go. That was a good one. So let's go ahead and tap this one. I wonder what happens if you get two of them at the same time. Okay. 3.5 million. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that was worth a pretty good spin there. I like the... <laughs> I just love the way these things pop up. See, I've been thinking about Halloween and spending more time in Vegas during holiday seasons and all that. So you guys know what we're going during Christmas, or right before Christmas. We're going to be home for Christmas because, you know, small children at home. Got to gotta make sure that we're home. Uh, but otherwise, I don't do a lot of traveling to Vegas during the holiday season, and I wanted to see if you guys had any suggestions for Vegas during that kind of holiday season there, since I'll be going in November and in December as well, kind of back-to-back -back trips. Oh, and we got Barry over here doing a little moonwalk. <laughs> okay, we got to get eight stars to win a disco jackpot. Okay, so pick a row. How about this row? Oh, oh, oh! Not bad. Is that the whole thing? Is that the whole bonus there? Oh no, we got another row. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll bury already up here. Keep it moving. Let's go. Oh, and that is three more stars. Bada bing, bada boom. Double that multiplier and bring that down. I wonder what happens. Oh shoot, I really hope we get those uh, extra stars there. All prizes doubled this pick, so if we get at least two stars, uh, I'm feeling uh, feeling the, the back row over here. I always play the back row. There we go. All right, that's uh, we racked up the stars, so we doubled them. So that's a uh, four times multiplier now, I guess, once we add that up. All right, cool, cool, that's completed. It's four times multiplier. 
and that's going to hit that. Whoa, okay. All right. This is actually pretty good. You know, I don't usually uh, play slot machines because they don't usually treat me this way. Well, and I'm really impressed with this game so far. I'm actually super impressed. Wow. And did I get another coffin I get to touch? Oh, no, no, no. It's the it's the grand spin jackpot over here. Look at these bonuses. Oh, oh. Is that a grand? Oh, no. <clears throat> that's a grand. Oh, man. <laughs> hundred million. No, no, no. That was a hundred million. That's crazy. Oh, and I get another coffin, too, for another three million. All right. Whoa. That was a killer jackpot there. You know, I'm going to show this to my Vegas. I, I, I just don't know. Um, which also reminds me, we got to go ahead and arrange a get-together. And I got another bonus coffin. We got to arrange a get-together. And uh, it, it should be during the holiday season. So we can try out some of your guys' holiday suggestions to, for what to do while in Vegas during a holiday. Because here's what we got planned so far. I'm trying to go through the itinerary. Uh, we definitely want to go ahead and go to dinner. Uh... I think it's going to be like a two or three night trip. Definitely going to dinner. Uh, definitely going to go see a show. And one day she really wants to swim. And she, I'm not sure if she gets the concept of, you know, it's a desert and it's going to be terribly cold there in December. So the pools aren't going to be open. So she, she's a little frustrated about that because she'd very much like to go swimming. She, I don't know. She likes swimming. It's just kind of a thing for her. I don't, I don't care either way. It's just like, you know, if you're got a pool open awesome if not if not you know there are just times where you don't go swimming <laughs> and that is unacceptable to the minnesota girl i'm just sorry to say so oh well we got more coffins here guys uh so what i think we're gonna go ahead and do we'll probably uh plan some time in the spa uh at the resort there and uh so you know maybe maybe like a hot tub experience or something like that, or maybe just like, you know, get, get, get massages or something, facials, whatever, just that sort of thing. And that'll be done in lieu of swimming. But yeah, what else do you guys uh, recommend that we do? Uh, obvious couple trip, obviously. So just going to be us. Uh, little one's not coming, and that's cool because we have Christmas. She'll be on Christmas break, though, I suppose we could take. No, no, no. We're not, it's just going to be an adults-only trip. You guys know I'm not really big on uh, having kids in Vegas. I've done a podcast about that before and expressed that, you know, I think Vegas should just be kind of an adults-only place. If you do take your kids to Vegas, I'm not saying you're a bad parent or anything like that. Just the opposite. It sounds like you probably know what you're doing and you know how to explain things and you probably know all the places that are good for kids to go and the places that are bad for kids to go. And I respect that absolutely. It's just, you know, not how I like to do things. I just like having Vegas be my kind of thing. Oh, we got another visit for Barry. Look at this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get that disco jackpot going there. Um, I think let's pick the third one this time. Okay, cool. We got those stars. I wonder if we can get another disco ball jackpot. Doubles that up. Boom. Let's go. I'm feeling pretty good about the odd numbers so far. Let's hit this one. All right, that was a couple good stars there. Oh, I should have done the top row. That would have got us more stars. It's cool, though. We got like four million off of this. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any good ideas for what to do in Vegas in December. Go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. I'm trying to see if I can pick up that, uh, that Maverick helicopter flight. Oh, <laughs> those stars, though. And that's doubled up. That would have been eight in one shot. That's insane. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get that disco ball jackpot. Now that we get to keep our five million chips. There we go. Yeah, look at him dance, too. Yeah, that is indeed a total win. All right, I can get down with that. All right, let's spin it. Put ourselves into our own little tailspin over here. And there we go on made. Nope, minor 18 million. Probably about 20 mil. Okay, yeah, 18 million. That's respectable. All right, that's good for a jackpot. Yeah, I think we I think we are up. We are up significantly. This is actually really great. Nice. Oh, and we got another coffin. The bonuses in this game are just so 
liberal. I mean, I'm guessing it's because it's Halloween and it's a promo game. That's probably why the slots are so loose today, and I'm okay with that. That was a good win. Now let's go ahead and tap on this, see if we can uh, capitalize. Let's capitalize, guys. 7.8 million. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I think we're staying at either Aria or Bellagio, one of the two of them. Probably Aria. I think you guys voted in Aria last time, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick with Aria. And uh, yeah, we, I mean, we got lots of great stuff planned uh, so far, and I'm looking forward to you guys helping us plan some more stuff to do. I uh, probably won't do a reward pick stream again, but I am going to go ahead and get Wendy playing some more of my Vegas slots so we can get uh, like six rewards. Uh, well, I guess total of seven because you guys... Watch me buy those chips that one time, and that jumped me up to four rewards. So, that'd be pretty cool. And look at this. Oh! Last one's going to end on a coffin. Let's go, let's go. All right, and let's wrap it up. Last one. Let's see how we do. Tap it. What kind of bonus do we get? 3.9 million. All right, I can respect that. And that means we're ending on a high note here, guys. Okay, doing the maths, going to go ahead and figure out exactly how much we won. But it looks like we are up to 1,674,202,224 chips. So I'm going to take a quick break, do all the math per usual, and we'll uh, count up the booty. All right, now I understand why this Dracula is discoing over here. So guys, we did the math over here, and it looks like we were up just so many chips over here. Here's what it really comes down to. Here's what the maths are telling us. Uh, definitely Dra Dracula should dance. He got us a 201.38% payback percentage. The slots were that loose. The bonuses were that great. We got that grand bonus. You know what? I'd say this is one of the best games in my Vegas slots, period. I'm going to go ahead and show this to everyone. This was amazing. I hadn't done this well in a game in quite some time. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't need to buy any of these uh, offers over here. Disco Dracula definitely gets the coveted Ace of Vegas best games in my Vegas slots heart over here. So we're going to hold on to that now. Um, I think we'll be back uh, probably, let's see, what is today? Today's Saturday. So we'll be back Monday um, with uh, with another casino video, and then I also do have a couple tutorials coming out too. Uh, so ne next week's going to be a good week, and then we'll have a Halloween episode too. So I'll have an extra Halloween episode on top of the Disco Dracula over here. Um, but that's about all I got right now, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, if you're new to the videos, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video or found it informative. And then I'd appreciate a like either way if you just enjoyed yourself and uh, yeah, wanted to let me know. So. Until next time, my Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing a strong hands, happy spinning, and like I said in the comment section down below, let me know if you guys have any good suggestions for doing Vegas over a holiday. Okay, take care.